How's it flying, guys? Lance Carballock30 here, and yes, you read the title correctly. This is My Little Pony, Pony Life, Season 1, Episode 1, Princess Probs. I had made a video a while ago that I realized I accidentally deleted. Well, that might not have been accidentally. I forgot the reason I deleted it, but I deleted it nonetheless. I had a little short, funny, f fake reaction at the front to kind of set up the way a lot of the fandom was reacting to this. And, uh, oh boy. I'm of a mixed mind with this. I'm generally like, eh, but I've also seen it kind of work before, so... The only example I could, I've really watched that I've really truly watched and enjoyed was Ruby Chibi, as far as the whole cute, more cutesy version of a prior existing work. So, I don't know if I'm going to love this. I don't know if I'm going to hate it. I'm no, I don't know if I'm going to feel just indifferent about it. I know that Mad Munchkins made a video on about it and even took the time to make a whole bunch of new sprites in the style of Pony Life. I can't say that I'm a fan of the style... We're going to see how this works. Fair, fair warning, I do not care for shows like Teen Titans Go or Thundercats Roar. <laughs> Freaking gar Roar was garbage. From everything that I've seen, it was garbage, so I don't choose not to watch it. Mm -mm. I really don't know about this. I really... I don't want this to be real, but at the same time, they got the original voice actresses back, and who knows, maybe it will just be a cutesy fun, you know, we'll see. So yeah, make sure that you support the official release. I, I don't want to, but we're going to, so yeah, let's get in and see how this works. I'm gonna turn that down already. <sighs> Bit loud on my end. Okay, let's try that again. Hi. I know that Pinky Pot. Pinkie Pie is the only one that I really think truly fits the look. Because she's the one... Because she would absolutely not care. Okay, Princess Probs Part 1, written by Katie Chilson. Alright, let's... Executive producer Stephen Davis. Peter Lewis. Alright. She's just about done it. Oh yes, Pinkie Pie might have created the perfect dessert. <laughs> You, but you ruined me. He's in there, Rarity. Did you miss this? I missed this. It all comes down to this. Don't think you can win me over just with a couple of fourth wall breaks. Don't think that that's going to be the case here. Yes, I missed this, but not like this. I missed the main six in MLP FIM. I'm going to withhold back. I'm going to. Better take a chill pill, but but yeah, I, I missed. Okay. I can barely understand what she said. Wait for it. Three, two, one. Oops. Bye. Uh huh. Sure. Okay, so I've heard these are gonna play a big key role. Did you have to make that someday so dramatic? Yes, it's just one of the recipes I'm considering for my royal jelly juggernaut audition later today. You're auditioning for the royal jelly juggernaut? A royal jelly who to the what now? That's what I'm wondering. Ponyville's greatest dessert makers face off in jelly battle royale. They're always making something new. What I mean by that, they're always coming up with new competitions we've never heard of. 
Remember how we didn't hear about Trivia Trot and how Twilight apparently had won two years in a row, or what, two or three years in a row? Until the last season? Yes! Princess Celestia! Ooh, a telepathy potion. Very chill. This is not chill at all! It's the saltiest competition that ever called itself sweet. Even the most precise ponies go home with their heads hung low. What? Why? How? Why is there three celestial? Maintaining a clean workspace is vital. G -g 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 no pressure. Exactly. No pressure. It's just a series of incredibly competitive auditions followed by a callback and bake-off in a personal interview. It should be a breeze. All I need to do is practice, 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 and get feedback from my best buds. Yeah, okay, now. It's not, not worse than I thought. Huh? <laughs> okay. Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, Applejack, and Rarity. What? Oh, she still fainted. From a place of love and support. We have to stop her! <gasps> we must! Her Pinkie Pie! Oh, right, yeah, that's what I meant. From a place of love and support, we have to help her. Okay, yeah, I was about to say. Space freeze. Pinky, please tell me you have a plan for your audition. I do. Step one. Have fun. That's it. That's the only step. Okay, great. And cool and nice. Okie dokie then. We can fix this. We gotta fix this. You know how I'd audition? I'd be mindful of health codes. Look, Pinky, They're not gonna stay you know, on. She needs something that's gonna grab their hearts, eyeballs, and advertisers. Once we make it to hometown cookoffs, we gotta get this place sparkling clean. Even if we have to turn it inside out and upside down. Good idea, Twilight. I'm not knowing if I like this or not. I really don't know if I like this or not. Ooh. Okay, this one feels like the more dumbed down version. Bl I'm being bluntly honest here, guys. Like, this feels closer to what you would expect kids to do. In MLP FIM, the writing, the one of the reasons why it grabbed so many people's attention, including mine, was because the writing was set up in a way that it wasn't that an adult could watch it. And not feel like they just dumb themselves out to let th something to put their kids in front of and just waste the time away. This, however, feels closer to that. This, I hate to say this, feels closer to G3 than it does G4. And that hurts to say. Hopefully this isn't, like, G3.5. I'm hoping it's not quite that bad, but this feels... Uh, this definitely feels closer to G3 than it does to G4. This may appeal to some people. And we did get one meta joke. Nodding to the more adult fans, or maybe just the fans in general, but... Oh, boy, I really don't know. Like, I... I'm, I'm gonna try not to talk while pause too much. I want to add some actual reactions. My pineapple upside down cake always impresses. That's not what I meant. I know. That's what I love about you. You're brilliant without even trying. Yeah! Why? I once thought about getting into the biz, meaning the TV industry. I could have been a star too, I tell you. But I gave it all up to focus on my suntan. Where's that turn now? Don't ask. Long story. Your long stories, Rarity, but I'm running out of time. Okay, I'm not, doesn't surprise me that she had a saxophone. Requires the perfect audition look. May I? What's the look? No, 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 no. I can already fit. Mm. Pinkie Pie. Polished. Doesn't. Doesn't fit. She's camera ready. Cake ready too. Is this upside down enough for you, Twilight? <gasps> There's just one more recipe I want to try. Mostly because it's so okay, fun to she say. Looks more like a she more looks more like a clown. I am now. And not only that, I finally got my hair net to stay on. Oh. 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 
And there goes your butt. There goes your entire lower half right there. But it's Pinkie Pie, so I won't question it. Gloop. Okay, so they knew that. All right, that was a clever. At least if that was somewhat, that was actually kind of clever. Like, like, don't say it. Sticky situation. Like, it was a little bit clever use of a trope. Somewhat. This is the worst thing that could possibly happen. Just remember to clean as you cook. And do something flashy. And put your best face forward. If you follow those rules, you got this. No way you look like a silly filly. No pressure! Oh! <laughs> okay. She is a silly filly one. No wait, wait, are, are you telling me they can't get out of there? All we could. She seemed really sad. This feels not good. Maybe we should have just believed in her from the start? Twilight, you are an alicorn. Made you a mistake, can I? get out now she's of going that. All alone. We gotta make a plan to get out of this flam. Uh, as quick as we can. Hand me that pan. Let's eat. You can teleport, Twilight. Of the Royal Jelly Juggernaut Competition Kitchen. They can f and teleport. Twilight can f and teleport. Game time. Steely, she looks across the studio to see three tall chairs. These are the judges' chairs. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, but are you narrating? Huh? Oh, yeah. Kinda. Well then, mm, one audition, one recipe. That's all that stands between you and TV stardom. Huh. Thought it was gonna be a lot more complicated than that. Prepare okay. to your taste buds totally annihilated! Then revive stronger than ever by a Pinkie Pie original recipe. Watch yeah. as I create Who are those other two judges? Cakes. Don't recognize them. Do this. Are you kidding me already? I can't. Pinkie Pie's not that much a klutz. You can't get up and leave this kitchen until you finish your dessert. Literally, none of us can. We have to eat for Pinkie. Celeport! You have magic, you're in Alicorn. Here's a little flash. Good thing Gordon Ramsay's not there. He would tear you a new ass. I was about paying attention to what you're doing, Pinks. Okay, there you go. No, we're too late. This is so raw. It's raw, beautiful television. Oh, and not only that. This is the best cake I've ever taken a dainty little bite of. Oh, you must be on the show. It's okay. Yeah, but my audition was a disaster. Eh, maybe so, but your baking's top notch, and it's you who really takes the cake. <laughs> Did you get that? That's gold. <laughs> Okay, Pink's white. A second helping, please. Pinky, 
This is gonna be a cringe fest for me. I was afraid you'd embarrass yourself. When the only one who should be embarrassed is me. I tried to make you do things the way I do them when you were doing them perfectly fine all along. That's okay. I knew you were just trying to help. But I can't help being me. And I okay. like it that way. Go, 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 go. Actually, it's kind of fun to be you guys, too. <laughs> the concept of those potions is going to take a bit of getting used to. Okay, so that wraps the uh, episode one up. Oh, Lordy Lou. I can safely say there's a lot of cringe in here. It feels dumbed down, which I was expecting. I was expecting it to be dumbed down to some degree. It's not it's not completely unbearably dumb. Like I would not put it like for example, I'm not a fan of Teen Titans Go. Like they try too much like with Teen Titans Go, they tried too much to be funny. They tried too hard with being funny. I like a good joke, not when they're cringely done. Some of these jokes just felt they felt very off kilter. I am basing this based off of what I have seen Friendship is Magic do. Which it's going to be judged against that. There's no other way. There's no way around it. It's going to be judged against it. Which is understandable. There were nine seasons of MLP FIM. This is only the first episode. So maybe, maybe, maybe this will grow on me. It's possible. Maybe it'll grow on me. I'll, I'm willing to give it that chance. Granted, I sh like I can't say anything really harsh about it though. I can't say anything damning about it. For example, like I said, I watched Ruby Chibi and enjoyed that. I and I've s I was somehow able to understand a little bit more why that worked. But I don't know. This feels. It's not awful. I'm going to say that it's not awful. I wouldn't even put it as bad. But there is like a heap of... Like when they were in the process of baking it, they put a little bit more salt... Like, well, not really salt. Salt is like... They weren't so really salty about anything in this. They put a little too much sugar, if that made sense. They tried to make it a little too sweet, but then they also put in... A couple of raw lemons in there and made it a little sour, made it kind of cringe a little. It's not awful, but you know it's an acquired. It's probably a. It's probably a detail of it's going to be an acquired taste. Maybe it'll. Maybe I'll like the other ones that come out. Maybe I'll think about the same as for them as this one. We'll just have to wait and see on that. So until then, like I don't know. Like I reserve my judgment for the others, but this one. I don't really, I, I I don't really know how I feel about it yet. I'll probably have to come back later, or watch it again. But yeah, it's just like I know the characters are going to be like parodies of themselves, but the dumbing downness of the characters too is also something to really get used to because Twilight Deary, you are an alicorn. You can teleport, even if you did thought, uh, let's not teleport. You got a lasered a path out for each of your friends. There are so many things you could have done. You could have r completely removed the gunk from around you. You could have done so many things. Unless they've just nerfed her to the point where she can only lift things up. Which, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to assume that. But it, it somehow feels wrong seeing characters like Twilight break into pieces and fall down when that's something that I would believe coming from Pinky. But yeah. So, a bit of a rough start in my opinion. Not awful, but not something that I can say I like. 
it may just be an acquired taste, though. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like if you enjoyed. Comment how you think this is going to go. What your thoughts on this episode were. Subscribe if you're new. And tap the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. So you don't miss any reactions, gameplay, or otherwise from me. And also go check out my Discord. Link is also down in the description. Come join. We'll talk, post memes, songs, videos, artwork. You can self-promote your stuff and just have some fun. This has been Lance Corporal Hawk 30, signing off.